so sometimes we see that even if there is no load connected in the transformer secondary side then also for star ground star solidly grounded delta connected transformer there will be short circuit single line to ground fault current contribution in the primary side in case of any fault in the primary side so let's run this short circuit 60909 here and this is single line to ground fault here as you can see this 19.908 kilo ampere fault current contribution from the upstream but the bus fault current is 22.39 kilo ampere so the balance current is being contributed from this transformer side even if there is no load connected this transformer secondary side circuit breaker is open that means there is no load still single line to ground fault is circulating in this path so how it is coming let's discuss about this network first I have modeled a grid here so this is the grid parameter short circuit current is 40 kilo ampere x by ratio 14 for single line to ground fault also this is 400 kb grid and I have modeled two transmission lines here these two transmission lines each line length is 5 kilometer So if you go inside the parameters, so these are the parameters I have chosen and uh, this is the configuration and the same same line I have copied here, the same same parameters I have used here. So only thing is that each line length is 5 km because just to, uh, just to explain uh, what is the impact if there is any fault in between. If there is any fault here we will create a fault here next we will create a fault here in between these transmission lines also then we will for create a fault here for the different case study okay so for this transformer let's say this is 400 kb bar 11 kb transformer 500 mba I have used the impedance parameters here the main thing is that um, here you can see the uh, star solidly grounded delta transformer YND1 this winding connection is, uh, is of uh, no importance in, uh, in this case only thing is that this primary side start start solidly grounded and delta grounded transformer so 10 percent positive 10 percent impedance okay so this is the simple network what i have modeled now now uh, let's run this uh, single line to ground fault here so if we run this IC 60909 you will see okay first let's create a fault in only one bus only in this 400 kb bus okay what we can see this 19.908 kilo ampere current contribution from the grid side and in the bus this is 22.39 kilo ampere so the balance current single line to ground fault current is being supplied from this transformer side if we see three phase three phase fault here obviously there is no 
change only 25.412 kilo ampere fault current is coming from the grid side source side and the bus total bus fault current is the same 25.412 kilo ampere there is no contribution from the transformer side from the downstream because the load is not connected here the, the circuit breaker is open kept open but if we see a single line to ground fault this is 19.908 kilo ampere and this is 22.39 kilo ampere bus if we see the sequence values positive negative and zero sequence values yeah so this is positive sequence positive negative and zero sequence current it's also flowing so only the 6.636 kilo ampere is coming from the source side but here in the in the bus side this value is 7.463 kilo ampere now just to just to test this if we change this grounding connection as delta or maybe delta star solidly grounded let's see what will happen let's run IC 60909 again yes you can see this is the fault contribution single line to ground fault current contribution from the source side is 21.298 kilo ampere and the same fault current is reflected in the bus 21.298 kilo ampere why because this primary side is delta connected this primary side is delta connected and there is no if if there is any fault here upstream this this fault current single line to ground fault current can cannot get the zero seconds uh, circulation path so that's why because the transformers primary side is delta connected as soon as you change this grounding connection starts solidly grounded then it will change 21.298 21.298 21 again it is same why because because this transformer because this this is star grounded star grounded transformer this transformer secondary side is star grounded okay but if it is star grounded delta then the difference will come obviously so this is 19.908 kilo ampere whereas the bus fault current is 22.39 kilo ampere right but the source grid source circuit current is 40 kilo ampere and due to the cable cable impedance parameters this source circuit current is reduced right now we will we will create a fault here in the grid side yes so here the grid short circuit current is 40 kilo ampere and uh, from the downstream you can see from the downstream the short circuit current contribution is 1.813 kilo ampere so that the total fault fault current at this grid side 400 kb side is 40.604 kilo ampere again this is single line to ground fault 
so this much of this amount of short circuit current I means single line to ground fault current 1.813 kilo ampere this is coming 1.813 kilo ampere and here 1.817 kilo ampere so this this much of single line to ground fault current is coming from this transformer side right though there is no load connected in the transformer secondary side because this circuit breaker is open kept open whatever loads are connected here maybe in this downstream bus that will not contribute any short circuit current now because the breaker is open now so if we change this again if we ch change this um, winding connection delta star grounded then we will see 0 kilo ampere right so there is no short circuit current contribution here only due to this cable capacitance due to this cable capacitance uh, effect only 0.005 kilo ampere means 5 ampere current will flow only okay so let's see another another thing also yes now we will create a fault here in between in between these transmission lines these two transmission lines so this grid short circuit fault current is 40 kilo ampere this is 40 and due to this cable impedance this is on, uh, from the source side single line to ground fault current contribution is only 26.467 kilo ampere and uh, here from downstream 2.237 kilo ampere current is flowing single line to ground fault current that is flowing right let's create a fault here again or in all the buses maybe just to check the overall scenario okay so in this bus grid side 40.604 kilo ampere in between transmission lines 28.697 kilo amps here transformer primary side 400 kb side 19.908 kilo ampere from source side but the bus bus fault current is 22.39 kilo ampere so the balance is uh, flowing through this transformer uh, tra tra transformer start side neutral so uh, now now if we change this uh, grid grid side grounding so this is this is now start solidly grounded system if we if we change this to um, delta delta connection then then let's see uh, is there any impact here yes obviously there is an impact for this thing line to ground fault current here due to the due to the delta connected delta connected um, uh, grid so the single line to ground fault current contribution is zero zero only but here as you can see this for if there is any fault at this 400 kb grid side 5.13 kilo ampere short circuit current single line to ground fault current is flowing so where from it is coming again from this transformer side because here in this bus also 5.5.204 kilo ampere short circuit current okay so since this grid is delta connected grid, grid delta connected so there is no zero sequence current uh, flowing path there is no path for zero sequence current flow so this fault current contribution is zero but due to the cable capacitance effect this fault current is 12 ampere only towards this this transform primary side bus but towards the grid you can see this fault current uh, fault current is flowing single line to ground fault current is flowing as 5.13 kilo ampere right 
so these are some case studies we we should know just to understand the behavior of the network right so depending on the transformer winding connection depending on the transformer winding connection single line to ground fault current may vary like this but there is no impact in the three phase short circuit current or line to line current also because in case of line to because in case of line to line current there is no uh, there is no ground fault path there is no ground fault uh, path engaged in it so these are some case studies related to this thing line to ground fault current